All right, everyone, I've got my E2S6 Z cam right here. I'm doing a quick video to show you guys. It's currently set to 24 frames a second. Time code is displayed right there. Uh, I have the uh, Alvin cable for time code control. You can see currently it's red. This has been taken with a tentacle sink. You don't have to use a tentacle sink to do that. However, you take this plug right here and I come down to the Zoom F6, which is right here, which has time code in and out, so you can jam it or output time code. Get a headphone splitter, um, plug it in to the port. Uh, for me, at least, it is the red port for the time code. I will plug it in real quick. So plugged in the time code into the red part. Down here, you can see this is turned from red to green. And then up here, uh, you can now see that it is jammed. However, if you, for my testing, you don't have to keep it this way. Once it's synced, you can unplug it and it will remain jammed uh, so long as the camera stays on. Keep the camera on. My solution is comprehensive. I have a battery plate using MPFs that's powering both the camera and the monitor. But then on the camera, I have a second MPF battery as well as the monitor of MPF battery, such that if this loses power and dies, I can change the batteries out here, give it power back, and only have those batteries power these two pieces temporarily. But that's it, that's how I got it to work. Um, you don't have to use tentacle sync. You can just use this and it will stay jammed. Um, my testing was I had jammed it and then did not record for 45 minutes. I recorded then for 20 minutes and then checked sync and I found that I was seeing basically just the laws of physics, which means it stayed in sync. So um, that's all good. That's how I got it to work. So this is your simple solution, an F6 and Zcam and this cable and just don't let the cameras power off and you're all set. Enjoy.